Hi, Gareth from Court Monkeys here, and today we are on the Crown Princess. And I'm right now down in the piazza on deck five. And we're just going to take a stroll around here. This is where we began, in there. Um, this is the port side of the ship, the left side. Forward is there, aft is there. And this is one of the dining rooms. The Michelangelo dining room. And we're going to see if we can get in there and just take a quick look around while they prepare for the day. Hi. So there's the Michelangelo dining room. We just walked in. We're on Plaza Deck 5, port side, heading forward. This is Good Spirits at Sea, International Cafe, and him. The food here is complimentary and it changes throughout the day. The coffee though and drinks are not complimentary. Remember that. Here's the piazza again. This is where we began, right there. Let's take a quick spin, heading forward still. This is the art gallery and uh, the ship is waking up. <laughs> More so I guess because we're in port. I normally do these on a sea day. So I see less people. This is Vines Wine Bar. So we're on the starboard side now, heading aft again. And this is the future cruise area. It's also got computers, like an internet cafe. It's called Escapes, Future Cruise Escapes. You have the internet center not cafe, but center. That's the first time I've seen a sign that said center on it instead of cafe. Now they've removed every other computer. You know, this is a holdover from COVID. Well, that's it for Plaza Deck 5. One more look at the piazza. So we're going to go up to 6 now. And I'm going to use the stairs, midship stairs, which are right around the corner here. We came up the stairs. Fiesta Deck 6. See that? Starboard side, so the right side of the ship again. And this is the Da Vinci dining room, and we're kind of going in the back door. This is where the reserve people have breakfast, so they're getting ready for them. But as you can see, it's just like the Michelangelo down below. But anyway, and you get a secret entrance. Let's head forward. So we're back out in the piazza, and this is Calypso Cove. Now, Calypso Cove sells Princess Logo stuff. Um, usually they sell the things you didn't bring, you forgot, you know? So here's the stuff you might have forgot in Calypso Cove. I just don't know if I need it. Now let's say you needed some sunscreen. Well, that's only going to set you back $11. Video. That brings us to Gatsby's Casino. Gatsby's is a nice casino. It's nice and big, but I mean, on most ships, there would be slot machines right here where I'm standing and right over there. You know, there wouldn't be all this wide open spaces. Their machines are a little bit old, let's say. They do have craps, blackjack. I think there's a roulette wheel over there where we're headed. Well, headed in a minute. We're still walking forward. And forward on deck six, right outside Gatsby's is a ladies restroom. And we are also right outside the Princess Theater. But here's the Princess Theater and boy, they're playing tequila really loud in here. So we're just gonna take a quick run through. We'll be back. We're going to come in there on deck seven also. You can enter from port and starboard, deck six and deck seven. Deck six, as you saw, brings me to the floor. Right? Princess Theater. Forward stairs and elevators. Gatsby's Casino again. Um, and the slot machines are closed because we're going to be in port in an hour or so. 
uh, I mentioned roulette. There's two roulette tables here. There's also an electronic poker table, if you know what those are. That's the only kind of poker they have on the ship, and I believe they only use it for tournaments, but they have them every day, right? Now over here, so we're still in the casino. Over here is the Speakeasy Cigar Lounge. Hi. And they got that fan running non-stop. And you can buy cigars. So we're leaving the casino. That's Spe Speakeasy, Gatsby Casino. Brings us to the shore excursion desk. So you can book your shore excursions here. You can also book them on the TV in your room or on the app. And we're back out in the piazza now. Let's, this is Meridian Bay. And they sell, well, they sell purses, obviously, right? Clothes, purses, jewelry. See if I can get around. Lots of jewelry. And that's the doors to the Da Vinci, and we went in on the other side. We're on the port side now. We went in on starboard. So let's walk back here real quick to the piazza so you can get a good look. So there's the piazza again. We started right down there. And we're going to go up there next. But this is guest services. Let's go up to seven. Now, we're on the Crown Princess, as I said, and it was built in 2006. So it's relatively old, let's say. Um, holds a little over 3,000 passengers in double occupancy. We're up to Promenade Deck 7, and this is where they put these. These are the things you get when you come to a port for the first time, your maiden port call. And here's the officers. So, and Gary Golding, he's a cruise director. We first met him when he was just, uh, just joined Princess. So we're going to go around here, and you should know that that's clicking. So this is the back door, you might say, to the Explorer's Lounge. We're going to come back around to it in a few minutes. So now we are up on Deck 7, looking down at the piazza, right? We started right down there in that circle, like I do all my videos. Um, we're going to go around here to the port side. There was the pictures of the officers. We met a few of them. Um, and yes, Daniel bought me this shirt. Cruise bar, promenade deck seven. And it's a nice big bar. A guy plays a the piano there every night, like they do on all the princess ships. It's got its bar. It is a bar after all, Cruiser's bar. We're gonna walk through, there's the piazza. So this is the library. And you can send wake show messages. Uh, you can pick up a daily Sudoku, crossword puzzle, a word game, and a book. Or a uh, game. Just take them, leave them there when you're done. Library behind us. Jewelry store, faucets. I suppose this is where they sell Effie. See the sign in there? This is the Salty Dog Gastro Pub, 5 30 to 9, and the Wheelhouse Bar. So, it's the Wheelhouse Bar, and this is the Gastro Pub, I suppose. Uh, they have different bands playing in here, different kinds of entertainment. Last night it was a jazz band. I want to say we're going to first take a quick spin through the theater. So this is the theater from Deck 7. And they're, most of the lights are off and they're playing Salisbury Hill by Peter Gabriel. But it, ni nice sight lines. Nice sight lines. So theater's there and if you are in a scooter or wheelchair or whatever, there's a ramp. See that? which would bring you down to the elevators. Otherwise, you're gonna walk up those stairs and back down them. So, and tonight is Disco Blame It on the Boogie. That's a production show, which I believe I've seen. 
these big murals and this is outside the wheelhouse bar um, this is the captain's circle desk future crews and loyalty drop box but I asked somebody sitting at that desk are you captain circle and they said yes wheelhouse bar right there we uh, are back out into the piazza as you can see and that was faucets right there and this is essence and guess what they sell guess that's right perfume but they're joined together you understand it's one long store so now we're gonna go all the way to the back of the ship because deck seven is where you can first go all the way to the back of the ship here's the midship stairs that we've been coming up here's more of these plaques and remember we started in the Explorer's Lounge well this is it from the entrance side we'll call it and this is the uh, Explorer's Club bar and they play trivia in there and they play the game shows in there um, I like Explorers. Club Fusion, it's, it's hard to see sometimes in Club Fusion, which is where we're headed. This is the photo and video area. And these panels ev eventually will open up and there'll be photos on them. They still do the old school photos. And they have stuff you can buy, accessories, binoculars, GoPros, GoPro, GoPro. This is the photo video area with all the photos. Um, it's not quite the last day of the cruise, but you can see what I meant. This is the Crown Grill, and I think they do sweet breakfast in here too, or a breakfast in here. Booster chair. They must sanitize them when they get used. So it's pretty good size. We have no plans to eat here on this cruise. Not that we're not going to, but we have no plans to. That's a weird looking thing. Hey, King Arthur. And uh, pepper. That's a real pepper. <laughs> I thought it was like a duck thing. <laughs> yeah, let's go out of, out of here. I forgot to look for ducks. Normally, when I do these ship tours, I find a duck, believe it or not. Let's look. Okay, no ducks. So, when we're still in the photo area. These are the panels that open up. All, all down here. It's a huge area on this ship. And more stuff you can buy. In case you didn't bring enough or buy enough yet. Hero 11, of course the 12 came out last week. And that brings us to Club Fusion. But first, we're gonna go downstairs to the Botticelli dining room. And they will be serving breakfast down there. Botticelli dining room. And they're getting busy, because it's after seven now. Hi. Wow. Everybody wants some. So. Luckily, uh, everybody eating is all the passengers are there. Uh, and you cannot go out that way. You go out in the middle the way we came in. All right. We're back up on promenade deck seven. We're now on the port side, the left side. And we're going to go in club fusion. And this is what I meant. You know, I mean, if you're sitting on one of these stools, I guess you could see down there. They do a lot of trivia here and disco and karaoke and and it's weird that this is the only place on the ship right now that's not playing music. I hear music, but so sometimes there's a live band here. Seats a lot of people. We're going to have the Captain Circle party here, I imagine, in a couple of days. That's a good time to get free drinks if you don't have the drink package because they'll give you anything you ask for, I think without charge and we have circled back around the back of the ship and now we're heading forward on the starboard side there's the photo of a place so we're gonna go outside so we're in the back of the ship 
on deck seven on the starboard side okay and I was about to say on most ships this is a smoking area and on this ship it is too and they seem to be going counterclockwise so I'm gonna join them we're gonna take a quick spin around the ship since this is an older ship you can go all the way around we walk the length of the ship on the starboard side and there's several princess ships in the fleet where to go all the way around you need to go upstairs so we're on deck seven we're going to go up those stairs to deck eight cross the front of the ship and then go back down to deck seven on the other side and then go to the back of the ship so I came up the stairs and now we're getting around to the front of the ship there see and this is how the weather's been it's not raining right now but it's rained for the last two days and the seas last night got really rough now this is crew area so this is the internet crew cafe i guess or crew internet cafe so here's the very front of the ship and i'm just going to go right here hi hello and uh i'm fabulous how are you and i'm really dark but i'm also the king of the world okay <laughs> yes and you could be too yes so this is icy straight point and normally we go to that dock this is the new dock and um so i've never been down here because i've always gotten off a ship and crossed that bridge or dock and then gone into town now we're over on the port side and there's the dock and you can't get off yet they're still trying to tie up let me just talk to you while we walk down promenade deck seven on the port side in the port of icy straight point the town's called huna though i mean icy straight point it's just a, a place a point of land right on this ship as on most princess ships no matter the size deck seven is like the top deck with passenger stuff to do and then on this ship eight through 14 are passenger cabins exclusively except for laundromats self-serve laundries right three dollars to wash three dollars to dry so we're not gonna walk deck eight deck nine ten eleven there is no deck 13 on princess okay real caribbean has it or they used to but there's no deck 13 on princess or carnival or holland america they're all carnival ships so some people use this as a jogging track up on 19 there's a little jogging track that goes around the golf course the greens that's a crown grill in there remember there's the kitchen here's club fusion and we are approaching the back of the ship and they're always like solid metal except there'll be a hole in the very back for us to look out see well more than a hole so there it is that's deck five six and seven let's go up 14 and if your cabin happens to be on Riviera deck 14 this is something you should know the buffet is one deck above me Lido deck 15 but if you walk aft like we're doing and we're on the starboard side but it's it's also on the port side there's a door here to go out um now we're on like deck 14 and a half don't call it 13 but there's deck 15 oh it wouldn't be 13 anyway 13 would be below if there were one <laughs> so it's like deck 14 and a half there's a pool called the terrace pool and people always want to know how deep it is 5.3 inches 1.6 meters and I go up some more stairs And this is the outrigger bar. You can go up, and people are already staking the chairs out on both sides. Now up there 
is um, Adagio and Sabatini's and above that is the kids area and above that is Skywalker's and above that <laughs> well we're gonna get there but it's Princess Green's we're at the very back of the ship on Lido Deck 15 and this is called Cafe Carib on both sides it's part of the buffet and when you go forward it becomes Horizon Court I don't know the reason for the name change but it has one and I'm gonna run through here show you a little sample of food can you see that look at those croissants they're striped got some milk oh blueberry smoothie tapioca oh some green stuff apples parsley spinach and celery somebody asked recently what was in there corned beef hash biscuits and gravy potatoes now that's American bacon pancakes tomatoes fruit somebody following me and now we've crossed over to the port side the back of the ship outside the terrace pool of course they have these coffee stations there's one around the bin there I just wanted to show you that we're in the aft stairs and elevators and there's a bathroom here and there's a bathroom on the other side men's on this side so let's go forward now we're in horizon court buffet um, it's same food uh, this will have a better selection the one in the back see like there wasn't salad back there uh, these other things you'll notice there were lots of and it's getting crowded because people are getting excited to get off the ship we've had two days at sea now so now we're out to the Calypso pool and it's open was closed all day yesterday and this is the Calypso bar and there's the pool and it looks like it's seven feet one inch or 2.1 meters at its deepest now that's the deepest pool I've seen recently on the ship uh, it is tile out here and it is slippery sometimes hot tub hot tub people are already in that one like they were in the pool of course towels and you can get out here on either side of the buffet, right? Um, these doors, number one, are automatic. And if they don't go automatic, there's a push button. But this leads you to the midship stairs and elevators. And if we continue on, we're we're in the center, port starboard. This is Neptune's Reef and Pool. The buffet's down there, aft. This is Slice, pizzeria, free pizza, included pizza, complimentary pizza, and coffee and cones. This is where you get your uh, free ice cream, your, to pay for specialty desserts, juices, and coffees all packed into one so we are on the port side the left side of deck 15 and we're going to cross over to starboard the right side briefly show you something over here and that's a, an ocean front here and sometimes they bring racks of clothes out here and have a sail but and then the buffet is that way Um, this says a depth of 5 feet 2 inches or 1.6 meters. Still going forward. So that's the mix bar and that's the salty dog. Complimentary, not complimentary. Up there is a smoking area on deck 16. And then there's some decks up higher. We're going to go in here though. But I'm going to cross back Bills, over. Hamburgers and hot dogs and chicken sandwich, uh, fries, uh, all complimentary. North Carolina barbecue pulled pork. So we're going to go inside here. So there's cabins up here. 
deck 15 forward. The front of the ship is straight ahead. This is the forward elevators and stairs. So on deck 15, there is no more that we didn't see. So we're near the front of the ship. Let's go up. So this is deck 16, sun deck 16. And this is Hearts and Minds, the uh, chapel, you might say. We have a piano. And that's about it. This is the port side. Lotus Spa. And the fitness center is this way too. So the spa is quite extensive. Beauty salon. People working. So this is the Lotus pool and spa. There's people in the spa, but the Lotus pool has been empty the whole cruise. But this is not a pay for thing. This, anyone can go out here. Uh, on most ships, there's a sanctuary, it's adults only but there's usually a sign right here let's go to the fitness center free weights not very many people in here this morning lots of weight machines towels sanitary wipes oh, right there big room where they do classes treadmills it goes around to that that side so that's the fitness center Lotus Spa entrance we're gonna go outside here you can walk when they have it open and they have it closed all the way around the front of the ship here not today so it's been a little windy cold so I'm wearing my sweatshirt now. This is the Trade Winds Bar. Trade Winds Bar, and over there is a smoking area. Okay. This is Movies Under the Stars. And that's the screen they show them on. And there's chairs. And chairs would be lined up here, and there, and way up here. And Calypso Reef and Pool. Let's go back down. To the stars. We are still on Sun Deck 16, heading aft on the starboard side. And later, you know, they have chairs to put out here. So here's another stairway, just like on the other side. And we'll go up there. But then we're going to come back down here. And there's another one. And it leads all the way up into there, which is the sports court. It's also a door leading in. But we are on deck 17 now. And you should know that there's hot tubs here, big ones. And there. And I like a little pool. And if we come over here, you can see the terrace pool down on 14. So we can be inside. And so this is Ports Deck 17. And like I say, these are the kids' areas, right? And there are no windows on them or anything. The lodge, ages 8 to 12. Well, this one has one. I'm not going to go in there. Because I don't have any kids. Of course, there aren't any kids in there. But you can see inside. And Camp Discovery, the treehouse. Ages 3 to 7. Over there was the beach house. That's for teenagers. That's all there is back here. So let's Sky go Sky deck 18. And there's still, you notice the stairs don't go up any further here elevators there's somebody having a meeting here but this is Skywalker's lounge and it goes all the way across the ship all the way across and in the evenings if you're platinum or elite they set up some hors d'oeuvres here see that floor
Anyway, let's go back out. There's Skywalker's nightclub. It's hard to read. And there's Platinum Studio. So let's go up. And Princess Lynx is this way. In fact, that's it right there. And this is the Platinum Studio, where you get your fancy portraits taken for money. And this, you might say, is the top of the ship. There are no decks above this. Well, there may be decks above this, but passengers don't go on them. You see that? And this is kind of a cool golf course. Um, on our particular cruise, Alaska cruise, it's rained almost nonstop. I mean, this is one of the first clear days, and it's, it was raining. But here it is. Now, if I go forward a little bit, outside the wall, then I have the sports court. And it's set up for pickleball, I'm guessing. But you see the goal for soccer and a basketball hoop. Let's go back in and head forward. There's center court. Um, this is the jogging track I'm on. And, and 16 times around equals a mile, or 1.6 kilometers. So, Star Deck 19, top of the ship, Princess Lynx. So we were on Deck 19, this is Sun Deck 16, I went back down the stairs to it. And this is Sabatini's and Adagio. So Sabatini's is the Italian Trattoria, Italian restaurant, $35 cover charge. We ate here a couple nights ago for our anniversary. It was Excellent. I think sweets maybe eat breakfast in here or something. This is the whole place though, right? And then next door is a Daggio, which is a bar. And there's somebody in here too. So as you can see, you can come here in the morning, afternoon, and just hang out. Let's go back out. Sun Deck 16, you see this? Way out to deck and restrooms. So there's restrooms here. And you can get outside. Here's the guys, the gents. Now we're back on Sports Deck 17. And on many ships, princess ships, they call this area the retreat. And there'd be a retreat pool. We're headed to the sanctuary. Now the sanctuary is a place where you pay to, to sit. You pay to hang out. See, it's got these chairs. And it's normally $20 for half a day, $40 for all day. So there's the lotus pool, empty and covered. And this is a big sanctuary. Now it's covered, but it's not waterproof, right? But it's a little shadier than most places. I'm going to say goodbye from the Crown Princess. It's a, it's a nice ship. I think it needs a little refurbishment though. But I enjoyed my time here. The, the staff is very, very good. Very friendly, very nice. Made some friends. Hopefully no enemies. <laughs> but uh, it's time to say goodbye from the Crown Princess, and I'll see you in the next port. Bye. Port Monkey's out. That's what we used to say. <laughs>